You likely know that Silicon Valley was born in the South Bay area around San Jose. You know that Hewlett Packard started in a garage in Palo Alto and that the first Apple computer was sold in 1976 in Mountain View at a little store. And IBM invented the first magnetic disk drive here in San Jose. But do you know these 10 weird facts? Number one, did you know not only are we pioneers of Silicon Valley, but this area is pioneers in the California wine industry. The first Frenchman planted grapes in Almaden Winery in 1852. They were the first commercially available grapes imported from Europe before Napa and before Sonoma. Can you believe it? Napa first imported grapes in 1861 and Sonoma 1857. So here in San Jose, we were about five years ahead of the famous California wine industry. Number two, San Jose is called the Garden City, which was part of the Valley of Hearts Delight, which was the largest fruit or stone fruit area back in the 1950s and earlier. The biggest canning facilities were here, including San Jose Canning Company, which eventually merged into Cowpack, and their largest brand that most of you know is Del Monte. Did you know that the Del Monte building is here in San Jose? There were several of them. This is building number three, which was actually finally shut down in 1999. Today there stands condos, but they still honor the history. Not only was this Cannery Square really critical to the economy of the valley back then, but did you know it was the largest canning company in the entire world, sending out 6.6 .6 million cans of fruit in the year 1895. So yet again, pioneers born and raised in this area. Number three, more invention in San Jose. Did you know the first radio station and first radio waves were actually invented in San Jose right here in downtown? In 1909, Charles Harold did an experiment in a first skyscraper in downtown, a seven story building, where they sent out voice signals out of that building and were able to verify over 20 miles away that those voice signals were heard. That started the first radio station called San Jose Calling and eventually developed and got bought out by KCBS, a famous channel here in this area. That first San Jose radio station started broadcasting music and then news and it grew into that news channel of KCBS. Number four, San Jose also was the first place where modern flight was born. Three quarters of a mile northeast is Montgomery Hill, site of 55 successful flights of the aeroplane of John Joseph Montgomery, which demonstrated aerodynamic development still indispensable to modern aircraft. Here, the basic principles of aerodynamics discovered by Montgomery were combined with his engineering skill and technology to produce a heavier than air flying machine, which had complete control. The cambered wing, rear stabilizer, flexible wing tips, and the wing warping aileron. Weird fact number five, Ego waffles were invented in San Jose. They were invented in the 1950s, the same time IBM was inventing the magnetic disk drive. The invention of the fast waffle maker was made here in San Jose as well. Kellogg's produced this machine commercially, which made commercial waffles available under the Ego name brand. The waffle factory was built in 1961 here in San Jose, making thousands of waffles an hour. Now let's look at some other odd facts in history of San Jose, not specific to inventions. Did you know, number six, that San Jose was the first capital of California? Wah, not Sacramento. I didn't even know that, but found it out in my research. The first legislative session of California happened in 1849 in the 100 block of South Market. Today, this area is commemorated by the Circle of Palms Plaza. Point number seven, mammoths used to roam this area. In 2005, a full fossil with tusks and all were found on Guadalupe River Creek by a man walking his dog. The area of the creek where this was found is just north of the San Jose Mineta Airport. Today, you can see Lupe, the statue, commemorating and memorializing this discovery and this history. Lupe is a huge 12.5 
foot steel replica of the mammoth that was discovered. Fact number eight, we have one of the most unusual sporting venues here in San Jose. One of only 27 in the country and the only one in Northern California. Do you know what it is? It's a velodrome, which is located in Hellier Park. This unique arena is for track cycling and experts in this field race on here all the time. You can experience races and witness for free and on Saturday mornings, experts offer lessons for beginners to get familiar and interested in the sport. Odd fact number nine, sports fans, hold on. Do you know about Crazy George and his beginnings here at San Jose State University? Yes, he was a student back in the 1970s and his claim to fame is inventing the wave. Crazy George started cheering professionally for sports crowds in 1974 at the very first San Jose Earthquake soccer game. He was then hired by many sports teams, including the Kansas City Chiefs. He is famous for appearing on television at the Oakland A's versus New York Yankees game in 1981, which is the first time that the wave was caught on camera. And odd fact number 10, probably the weirdest one. Did you know that you can go visit the grave of an amputated arm? Yes. That does exist, and let me tell you the story. In South San Jose in New Almaden in 1893, a 13-year-old boy, Richard Bertram Barrett, shot off his arm in a hunting accident. Can you believe it that according to law at the time, he had to bury his arm. Today, you can visit Hacienda Cemetery and see the tombstone for the amputated arm. I really hope you enjoyed these weird facts about San Jose. If you'd like to learn more about San Jose neighborhoods and places to live, definitely check out my other videos on that. I wanna thank Casey Kiefer for her book on Secrets to San Jose, which inspired many of the ideas that I shared with you today. If you'd like to learn more about her travels and her experiences, I'll put the link to her blog in the description. Thank you so much for joining me.